Okay, so, sorry again for the delayed start to the stream. I hope you are all having a much better evening than I am having, um, because I got stuck in traffic for an hour and a half, and that is the reason why the stream is beginning late, because I got home late. <laughs> um, and I got home pretty angry as well, so, you know, there's that. Um, let's see. Where did we leave off? We left off at the Seaview Church, um, level 49, having just earned the ability to fly. So we have a couple of stops that we need to make. Now that we have the power of flight, we have some things we need to go do. Okay, so first things first. There are some places we need to fly to. Not Zoom. Ha! It's actually an item. All right, keep it together. There we go. So, I'm going to put this in the hero's bag, much like we did with Balmerin's Bell. I'm just going to swap out Balmerin's Bell. Oh, wait. We have a pretty new helm. I forgot. I forgot about our pretty new helm. Oh, gosh. Who should have this pretty new helm? Jessica could use the upgrade. It's a pretty hefty upgrade for her. And she's got the lowest defense. So we're going to go ahead and give it to Jessica for now. <clears throat> but we are... We're pretty much in the end game now. There's, there's some things we got to do, but... We're, uh, we're pretty much right there on the cusp of glory, as they say. So now that we can fly, a lot of places that we couldn't figure out how to get to are accessible. Like, we can go here now. Whoop. Well, we could if I could handle the controls like an adult. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait. Okay. That was the problem. I was like going up. Okay, that's Argonia. We don't want to go to Argonia. There's like this weird platformy thing here, right? Let's go check it out. Check out this weird platformy thing. See what its deal is. Um hmm. Well,
This didn't prove to be as enlightening as I had hoped. There's like a dragon here. There is nothing written on the stone marker. Okay, well, I guess we can't interact with this any, um, at this point. Back to the skies. So we were looking for... Oh. Silly me. Thank you, Keen. I definitely forgot to switch you all over to our lovely you. Okay, so with that in mind, let's I'll 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 go back here. So there's this platformy thing. So this is the Sea View Church, that's where we started, and you can actually see our ship over there. And then if you recall, on this continent, there's like a weird platform thing. So we just popped over here. That's my bad, friends. Oh, man. It was a rough drive home, okay? Like, I literally spent an hour and a half going eight miles. It wasn't great. So. But there's this, like, platform dais. I don't know what you want to call it. It's got dragon stuff all over it, but we can't do anything with it because there's nothing to do. So, we're just going to keep flying. I'm trying to remember where all of the places are that we can get to now that we have access to the air. Hmm. Let's see, that's Baccarat. This looks like it might only be accessible from the air. Let's try that place. I don't know that there's anything here. There might not be anything here. But we're here. And so are these bloody hands, apparently. Hmm. 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 Feel like. Oh, there's a treasure chest over there. Let's go. Let's go to that treasure chest. Oh, dang. I knew she was due for an incidental level up. Boop, boop. Okay, there it is. I was like, there was a treasure chest, wasn't there? I know I saw it. <clears throat> hey look it's that boomerang that i made for earlier okay and that's the only thing here so we're gonna go ahead and fly again at least i think that's the only thing there if not we can always come back coming back is in fact an option Ooh. so let's see we've got the dragon graveyard right in the middle of the desert, but a little bit south of the dragon graveyard. Oh, you can actually see its wings. That's neat. Like, I 
feel like it's this. That's not right. That's not right. I'm in the wrong place. Hang on. Hold, please. Ah, it's this spot right up here. <laughs> oh, hey. Well, that's convenient. Hey, it's a mini metal. We like a mini metal. Holy crap. That is a lot of liquid metal slimes. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see how many of these bad boys we can take out. I forgot that they appeared here. Really? That's just rude. There we go. Okay, we got one. <laughs> it dodged. I still can't believe it. All right, we got a shot at him. Dang. I don't actually know if needle shot can kill liquid metal slimes. Okay, they both ran away. That's all right. I was not equipped to fight them anyway, so the fact that we got even one is pretty good. To that end, we should probably equip ourselves to fight those dudes. Um, <laughs> just in case that shit happens again. Let's see, does Angelo have his sword? He does have his sword. He just, I just didn't equip him with it. Okay, cool. So, definitely forgot that liquid metal slimes appear I think in most of the places that you can fly to, um, only at night though. Again, for most of the places you can fly to, I just, I feel like there's something here. I just know it, you know? Should probably re-equip our boomerang. see what we can do there we go now we got him Okay, so, good lord, where am I? <laughs> okay, here we go. I think, I think it's up here. 
And I should say, I do have maps of all of these places, but, you know. They're not, like, perfect maps. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it other than that. They're not, like, the best maps ever. They're serviceable. They will function. But also, none of them's run away, which is also unusual. There goes one. Famous last words. I think uh, liquid metal slimes have about eight health points. So... If we can slowly knock him down. There we go. That'll work. Oh, no. Bye. Don't run. Don't run. Let me kill you. Yay! Hey, we got two. There you go. Hmm. That'll go a long way towards incidental level up. Hey, there is a treasure chest up here. I thought there might be. It's an ogre shield. What's an ogre shield? <laughs> I don't know. What's an ogre with you? Uh, a massive shield. All right. Who can use it? Oh, the boys, eh? That's a 15 point increase and a nine point increase. We'll take the 15 point increase. Thank you. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so what else you got? I think we're done here. So we're going to fly again. Where else do I need to go? I don't want to go there yet. I've already been there. I've already been there. Hmm. Mm-hmm. We Okay, there's an island over here somewhere. Okay, we're in the right general vicinity. There's Pickham. Aha, there it is. I don't remember if there's anything cool here. But we landed here anyway. Hey, look, a treasure chest and an infamous monster. How about that? Woof. Yggdrasil, do how I love you. All right. Oh. It's daytime now. And you can tell that it's daytime because one of these gold golems has appeared and they only show up during the day, so. Thanks, Yangus. <clears throat> hmm. You know what? I want to see if we can take on rank B of the monster arena. We are much higher level than we were the last time we attempted it. And once we get rank B done, it's going to open up a whole bunch of new monsters so that we can finish ranks A and rank S. Um, and now that we can fly, we can recruit all of the necessary monsters for that. So let's go ahead and give it a shot just to see what happens. 
It's like pre-end game cleanup before we get into the end game proper. Enter Monster Arena, rank B. Yeah, because there are some... Ladies and gentlemen, the Monster Arena is proud to present a rank B battle. Let's give the team owners a big hand. The first round is about to begin. In the red corner, we have our Heroes Monster Team. That's right, license to smash. In the blue corner, captained by Bald here, the Dragon Questers, it's the Drag Queens. It's going to be a top flight fight that's out of sight. Let's get it on. Yeah, the last time we tried to do this, we were only, like, level 32 or something. Much lower than we are currently. Um, and your monster's stats increase with your stats. So the higher level you are, the more deadly they are. Yeah, the last time we did this, we didn't even make it past this first round. <coughs> It definitely killed us. Which, you know, they're doing a pretty decent job right now, but not as bad as that first time was. That first time was real bad. We might need to consider swapping out some of the team members if this doesn't work. I basically have two team builds that I go for, and we've talked about it previously. One of them is the Gollum team, and the other one is the Robot team. <laughs> However, for both of those teams, their third member only appears once you've defeated rank B. So we have to finish the rank B fights in order to get those teams completed. Oh no, it was this team that absolutely trashed us. Alright, if this doesn't work, we're going to swap out the weaker two members for two of the robots. Because the robots, I think, get to attack twice. And it's all about... It's all about robots for me, personally. At least, the rank A fight is all about the robots. There we go. All right. One more battle then. Oh, it's the moment 
Oh man. This is the final round. The winner of this epic battle will walk away as the rank B Monster Arena champion. In the red corner, we have our heroes monster team. License to smash. In the blue corner, captained by Bothan, like Rolling Stones, it's the Rock and Rollers. Down into the pit they go. Which side wins? Nobody knows. Let's get it on. My only saving grace right now is that I get to attack three times still, and they only have two attacks. That's a good sign. We might pull this off, folks. There it is, yay! Wow, and no one even died. That's impressive. A most spectacular performance. This is the prize for winning rank B. Congratulations. Bardish of Binding. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I knew it! I set the target, and it's like the red rag to the bulls, eh? <laughs> Ragazzo! I keep my promise. I give you the prize. You will be the only one in the world to have this privilege. Ragazzo. You, and only you, will be the owner of not one, but two teams of the monsters. Two teams! Yes! Just think about it. With the two teams, you will be formidable in the outside world. You could have the one team for attacking, and the other team for the healing, eh? You make the different combination. This means we must give the name to your new team. If you cannot think of a good name, I can do it for you. So, you want to name your own team? Yes, please. You want to choose your own name. All right, what did I say it was going to be yesterday? I picked a name. It's like... What was it? Sack inspectors? That sounds right. Oh, the end's way over here. That sounds right, right? Yeah, we're gonna go with it. That's your name? <laughs> Where is the forza? The bravado? The passion, eh? Uh, never mind. It will do. So, ragazzo, you have named your second team. All you have left is the rank A. Eh? Eh? Hey? Hey. <laughs> Are you as excited as me? Ragazzo! The tension is really mounting in my pit, eh? Wow, I don't need to know about the tension in your pit, man. Oh, 
Awkward. All right, now what's this Bardisha binding thing? It is, oh, it's a scythe. Well, okay then. I don't really have use for a scythe, but thank you for that. All right, cool. Now then, <laughs> some of the high places we can fly to um, occasionally have the monsters that we are looking for now because we need to find the final robot and we need to find the final golem. Oh, that would have been an awesome team name too. The final golem. It's the final golem. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do do No? Okay. I can handle myself. It's fine. Items. There we go. Is chat really quiet or is my screen not updating properly? If you're here, say something. Anything. Okay, that's the monster arena. We just came from there. Uh, hang on. I need to pull up my world map. We need to go north. Oh, I see that something. Thank you, Keen. All right, this is Wisher's Peak. We actually need to go all the way over to the other continent. Okay, so that's Alexandria. No! Oh, gosh. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. Wow, I'm just flying in circles around it. I was trying to land at the top of this. Ugh. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Bird controls are hard, you guys. Okay. 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 There. That's it. Don't ruin it. Don't ruin it. Let's try that. Did that work? I want to re-talk to this guy. Yeah! So, if you'll remember, oh gosh, all the way back at the beginning of the game, we rescued this guy's toolkit, and then he gave us some cheese. And you can actually come talk to him multiple times in the game, and he'll give you different kinds of cheese. Hello there! It isn't often travelers make the effort to climb all the way up here. Have you been here before? You look a bit familiar. Well, I don't suppose it matters anyway. I've just returned from a trip to my family home. It's been years since I last visited. My old mom overloaded me with so much stuff I nearly put my back out carrying it all home. Now I've got more than I know what to do with, so this is your lucky day. And he just gives us cheese! And we're not mad about it. Where I'm from, people can't get enough of cheese. It's just cheese, cheese, cheese. And when it's time to go home, more cheese. Sounds like Wisconsin. Well, look what we have here. This is certainly the right place to come with a pet mouse, that's for sure. Mice love cheese, you know. You might want to try feeding some to the little fella the next time you're in battle. Something tells me that isn't just any little squeaker you've got there. There may be more to this mouse than meets the eye. Well, we already know Munchie is the best mouse that ever lived. All right, let's fly. Let's fly! I just wanted his cheese. That's all I wanted. Okay, and we need to go back to the east. Turn, 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 turn. There we go. Because I don't know if y'all noticed, but there's like this weird 
mountainy thing. So we're going to hit up this weird mountainy thing. Look, some pots. We should probably smash those. Mini metal, Yggdrasil leaf. Ooh, a barrel. Nothing. Okay, fine. Oh. Need to put the bow back on to use that. Well, that's not super helpful, is it? Okay. Bridge. Oh, these heligators. There we go. So these are actually not infamous monsters here, but friendly monsters. That Elysium bird over there can't resist anything shiny. She buries everything she collects in the sand. A human used to live here before. A human so pure and good that even we monsters took a shine to him. You're the first humans I've seen here since his death. Okay, but like, we were just talking about how it was all like peaceful and shit up here. Now you gotta, you gonna come at me, bro? Okay, so the shiny item that they're referring to is actually a mini metal that the bird has buried in the sand. And I don't remember exactly where it is. So we are literally just mashing the X button while running around in order to find it. And hey, look at that. We did. We did find it. Okay, this is ominous. My name is Aegeus. There was once a time when people would call me the child of the goddess. But I have come to realize that I am a mere human child, weak and delicate like any other. After the Lord of Darkness was sealed away, I sacrificed my life that others might live. Here I record my final prophecy. I pray that it will be seen by the eyes of the righteous. As I gaze into the future, I foresee a period of darkness, 
a time that is shrouded in mist. A time when the Lord of Darkness, Rapthorn, may once again terrorize the world. But we should not lose heart, for our bloodlines will still live on. When the time comes, there will be a living heir for each of us. The heir of the great warrior Golding will be living with his two adopted children, surrounded by the voices of joyous people. The heir of the sorcerer, Master Gozo, will be carrying on the tradition, teaching magic in a town near the castle where the scepter is sealed away. The heir of the great magician, Kupus, will be living with monsters deep in the forest, having abandoned his life of magic. The bloodline of the magical swordsman, Alexander, will be transferred to another family, and his heir will be renowned across the land. The heir of the great scholar, Caden, will be living an honest life deep in the snowy mountains, preserving the legend of the godbird. The heir of Ragnar, who returned to the world of men from heaven, will be the keeper of the faith for countless souls. And finally, my own heir will be living a contented life as the leader of a group of many monks. As long as at least one of them is alive, this world shall be safe for all eternity. As such, it is imperative that their lives are protected, lest the Lord of Darkness ever return to extinguish the light of this world. It is the only way. I pray to the goddess that our children will abide by these words. Well, you shouldn't have put them at the top of a fucking mountain. Man. All of that would have been really great to know, like, 45 hours ago. <laughs> but, you know, what do I know? We're gonna have to heal soon. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, it's because I'm in a cave. Whoops. I knew that. Let's try that again. remember if there's anything here on on Neos I know we can land here but did we need to land here that is the question no maybe we didn't need to land here But it's apparent that there was something up here at one time or another, right?
we'll take it. Hmm. You know, I don't think there's anything up here. I don't see anything. Wow, they did no damage to the high rollers. That's interesting. Thing. I'm going to say there's nothing here. So we are going to move on with our lives. How about that? How about that? Where two places could be. Okay, we have technically already been here, but we're going back here because now that night has fallen, there is a chance that one of the monsters we're looking for is here. And if it's not here, then we need to go to the other place where it spawns because it spawns in two places because of course it does. Let's see if it's here. We are looking for a robot, all right? Holla if you see a robot. Not seeing one at the moment. It doesn't mean anything. Might just be further on. That's a lot of killer croakers. That's just rude. Oh, that's especially rude. Okay, we lived. It's fine. that going differently in my mind, but okay. If you were a robot, where would you be? I feel like we talked about this once before. And how a robot would be. I'm going to say he's not here. Because if he were here, he'd be here, you know? And I don't see him. So I'm going to say he's not here at the moment. Robot not home. So we're going to fly to the other place that he appears. 
and hope that he's there. And if he's not there, we'll cry a little. But not too much. Just a little. Where are we? We. I wonder if you can just land on the top of Wisher's Peak. I don't think I've ever tried it. Ah, robot! Okay, it's fine. <laughs> we were here for this robot. This is the robot we came for. <laughs> Not bad. It's still alive. Might have to get serious here. Cheating that he gets to go twice. How rude. There we go. We got him that time. Hey, that's our first gold monster coin. Yes. Yes, we do wish to add him to our members. All right. And with that... Team 2. Definitely know me. Yes. And Cybot. Yes. So, um, you see here, it says death moves. So, if you have the right kind of composition in your monster team, your monsters can team up to do some kind of thing that is very effective at killing many other things. So, if you see, they've all got decent health, and everybody but Robo Roborg uh, attacks twice, I want to say. And then they also have this death move called Stream Killer Attack, where all three of them basically swarm murder one enemy. And it just, it's fantastic. It's great. We love it. It's a very useful skill. Cool. All right. That's taken care of. Anyway, we were flying to places. Let's go someplace we haven't been yet. Let's go see if we can find the best axe in the game for Yangus. Whee! So you see this lovely little, um, clouds, these clouds right here, we're going to land here. 
This area is affectionately known as Howlwind Hill, a.k.a. Slime Motherfucking Central. Okay, so this area only has slime enemies. There are no other kind of enemies here. Only slimes appear on this hill. Um, and for that reason, many people will tell you it is the best place to grind for levels. Because, as you'll recall, the enemies that give the most experience in the game, that you can fight more than once, are the metal slimes. So, there are people who will tell you that you want to come here and run around until you find metal slimes and they kill all the metal slimes. And yes, that is an option. Yes, you absolutely can do that. But, for reasons... Which I think are good reasons. Um, the Dragon Graveyard is better. It's just better. One, because you have access to it much earlier in the game. Um, and two, because sometimes you get a Metal King Slime and a whole bunch of Beezle Buzzes. And you can kill that Metal King Slime more than once in that battle. Now, that doesn't mean we aren't going to try to kill metal enemies when they appear so beautiful and juicy right in front of us. We're absolutely going to do that. But I still personally think that the Dragon Graveyard is just better for it. Really? A bitch has like one health point left. There we go. We'll take it. Yay! Incidental level up! Oh gosh, I don't even remember what we were doing. Boomerangs, I guess. Yeah. So my experience with grinding for metal slimes here is that uh, you don't get the metal king slimes that frequently, but you do get the liquid metal slimes all the freaking time. Um, and so you're just getting 10k a pop instead of the 30k a pop that you would get. Oh, right. That doesn't help me. I don't remember how to get down there. I know there's a way to get down there. I don't remember how. Um, did I not want to cross that bridge? Maybe I didn't want to cross that bridge. Maybe I didn't want to cross that bridge, y'all. Uh, no. 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 There it is. Okay. I have additional questions. Okay. Well, hopefully we can figure this out. The King Cure Slime. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. There's another down over here, isn't there? Aha! That's where I need to go. I need to get... I crossed the wrong bridge. That's what I did. Crossed the wrong bridge.
Well, we got all three of those basic metal slimes. That's 3,600 EXP. You know, just like not the worst thing ever. Just not as great as and then down here. When we do finally get a Metal King Slime to show up, Yangus isn't going to be able to kill it. It's just how... It's just how we're rolling. Real surprised these dudes haven't run from us. Like, have they not realized that we are lethal? Guess not. Fine, I'll take the EXP. I'm not mad about it, baby. Man, I forgot how convoluted this place is. But it's worth it. It's worth it. Because at the end, we get Yangus's axe. Oh, and we want Yangus's axe. Got to go all the way around our elbow to get to our thumb. And like, if you didn't know it was here, man, exploring this area would suck. There it is. Finally. Oh my goodness. Just walking all over the place for this stupid axe. All right. But we got it. That's the important thing. We got it. The Conqueror's Axe. The best axe in the game. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're gonna give that to Yangus. He can have two. I'm okay with that. Nope, we were ready to fly again. We're gonna go see if we can find the third golem. Brum, brum, brum. Wait, where is it? Wait, where am I? Oh, I went the wrong way. Aha! There it is. So you can tell if a place is someplace you can land if it's got these, like, wispy clouds over it. 
The wispy clouds are indications of areas that are only accessible by air. Keep an eye out for those. Do, 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 do. Oh man, I forgot about that troll guy. Okay, we're gonna go this way first. Too stunned to move, you say? Well, I don't know about you, but that looks like a golem to me. He doesn't notice us? That's interesting. Let's see how these robots do, hey? Perfect! You get to see their death move. Yes, please. We would like the stone mason. So, let's look at what that does to our monster team. Um, so, we're going to drop Axilla for Goldman and Talos for Stone Man. Yes. So, now you see their death move is the Golem Mater. Um, and the reason I like this build is because the Golemator, all three combine into one enemy, and at the end of the round, they break apart again into their respective Brickman, Goldman, Stoneman, um, like at the end of a round of battle. So, like, you know how we have to go through three battles so, like, in the first battle, let's say Brickman's really low on health. Well, if Stone Man calls the Golemator, they'll all combine together. They get new stats for the three of them as one enemy. Um, it increases their attack, their health, their defense, etc. And then at the end of that battle, as long as we won, they'll be Brickman, Goldman, Stoneman again, fully healed. It's amazing. The downside is... As with all other death moves, uh, if one of them dies, they can't do it anymore. But still, pretty cool. And you can see by having these, like, good uh, team compositions, when we need them in, like, real-life combat, they'll stay in battle for four turns, which is pretty cool. We definitely enjoy that. Now, as I recall, there was a treasure chest. Hey, look at that. 
there was a treasure chest. So that's a ruinous shield. That sounds bad. An unlucky shield surrounded by an air of danger. Gee, I wonder how we could purify that. Where is the saint's ashes? There it is. Does it take two saint's ashes? Let's find out. Guess not. <laughs> Some things are so cursed. What? Uh oh. All right, hold please. Because apparently I have this incorrect. Does this require or Halcom? Because if it does, we in trouble. It does! Dang it! Oh. Or Halcom, you're the worst. I hate you so much. Why are you like this? Okay, well, fine. We'll make some cheese. Where's all my mold? Where's my mold? Okay, we are done here. We fly! Let's see, did we do everything? Almost. We almost did everything. So, if you'll recall, my friends... We rescued, well, not rescued, we helped Imperia in the world of darkness. However, in the world of light, there is an identical place that we can go scrounge for resources. So that's exactly what we're going to do. But first, this is Impichu's South Rise. Which has an item that we definitely want to have. Oh no, Shining Shot didn't work on them. You have a spell that hits everything? You know what? Let's just see if Kathwak works. It might not. It probably won't. I hate the Thwack spells because they never work for me and they usually work for the enemy. Telling you, they never work for me. I don't know why I bothered to do that.
All right, we found the skull helm. Now, before I go talking about this thing, let me make sure I'm not confused about what this does. But the skull helm can be purified, which we definitely want to do. So it's another cursed item, which means we do need to purify it. An eerie helm surrounded by an air of danger. And then we will get something really great. Um, except we're going to turn around and take that something really great and make something even greater. I know that sounds crazy, but just trust me on this one, okay, guys? I'm crazy like a fox, they say. So we're going to purify this with some saint's ashes. We're going to go ahead and fly. And we're going to turn around and go literally almost right back where we came from. Only, you know, here. So we were here. We were. We were already here once, but we're back again, um, and this time with feeling. <laughs> um, because you remember all the treasure chests that were here in the dark world? They're here in the world of light as well, and I want them. I want the precious. So that's what we're going to do. We're going we're, we're gonna to gather the precious. We like those mini metals. We should have enough mini metals soon. Because I think we were at like 91 and we need 99. So we need eight more total. And I think that might have been four or five since we last turned in mini metals. I think Shining Shot doesn't do any damage to those demony, the Demon Thunderers. Eh, it doesn't matter. They dead. Right. Yeah, 
See, the reason that that didn't have a map in it is because we already have a map from the World of Darkness version of this place. And we don't need a second map of the same place. So the game gives us a mini medal instead. And we are a-okay with that. I'm noticing about myself in this playthrough is that I've become more relaxed about using my skills and sacrificing my magic points to use those skills because normally in a playthrough like this I would be super duper extra cautious about using MP on the bat on on the off chance there's like a battle I gotta fight at some point but I'm not finding myself with that same like caution because I'm just like nah kill him make him dead Hey, look, liquid metal slimes. I did not expect that. Right. All right. Well, just the one, then. And we got him. All right. Yeah, you could say that it's worth it for the incidentals. Um, sorry, I need to go back and explain. You could say that Howlwind Hill is better than Dragon Graveyard for leveling purposes because in all the time that you're waiting for that Metal King Slime to show up and not immediately run away, you have the chance at other kinds of Metal Slimes, which you don't in the Dragon Graveyard. But in my opinion, those run away just as much as the Metal King and sometimes can appear in groups of eight and you spend like four turns trying to kill them unsuccessfully and it's just as frustrating um if not more so but that's me not necessarily you so you know live your best life i guess oh let's see here we were working on his fisticuffs i think yeah, we were. We were. We were doing fisticuffs. Yeah. Onward and upward.
Well, okay then. Air strong medicines. There's another mini metal. I think we've done a pretty good job of being thorough when it comes to getting all of the mini metals accessible to us. Let's see. Yeah, we're up to five now. I think I'm going to go to the right here. Oh. Well, after I fight these guys. Gold nugget.
We haven't healed in a while. No, go down. That is a lot of killer croakers. Holy crap. Welcome back, droid. We've mostly just been running around doing things that are open to us now that we can fly, because I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Think about it every night and day. Spray my wings and fly away. Um, but no, we're actually not doing that right now. We're just doing the light world version of this dungeon that we did in the dark world. World of darkness, whatever. <laughs> well, previous streams should all be going up on YouTube. I think, I don't think I've gotten... Saturday or yesterday's stream up, but I have all of all of the ones prior to that are fully uploaded on my YouTube, so you can always catch up that way. Um, and tonight I will upload Saturday, yesterday, and today, so that they'll all be available by tomorrow, so you can catch up anything that you have missed. You know, and if you're if you're enjoying it, tell your friends. <laughs> Um, my hope is to be up to 50 followers by the end of January. We're halfway there now. Um, but most of that half is people that I know personally. So if you know people that might be interested in checking out the stream, please tell them about me. Because um, I'm really enjoying doing this and I would like to continue to do it. And having an audience definitely makes it more fun. Pretty sure those dudes are immune to kaboom as well. I feel like those, um, these demon looking things on the end, not the weird frog guys. Um, I feel like, I feel like, yeah, they're immune to a whole bunch of different kinds of magic and abilities. So, like, they're immune to, to boom and to light and all that good stuff, so. You know what they're not immune to? Arrows and axes. Bam. Uh, we'll probably be done with Dragon Quest VIII next week. Um, it depends on whether or not we marathon it on Saturday. Because <laughs> we are, we're pretty close to the end, but then there is some post-game stuff. 
Um, there's there's like two bonus dungeons and a lot of extra story stuff that we can go do. Um, so we might we can reasonably on Saturday finish the not true ending and then Tuesday or Wednesday finish the one true ending. As they say. Because it is a JRPG, and would it be a JRPG if there were no true ending? All right, I don't want to get lost on these weird circle-y things. Which one is the one? The bottom one. Okay. Not, not there. But this way... Um, and then when we are done with Dragon Quest Eight, we're going to move on to Dragon Quest Eleven because the definitive edition of that comes out on Friday. So when we're done with this, we'll just move on to that. And I will preface that by saying I have only played Dragon Quest Eleven once. Um, and it was, of course, earlier this year while I was waiting for my return to work call after the initial shutdown that pretty much everybody went through. Um, and it was, it is really, really good. It's a very good game. Like, I'm really actually looking forward to playing it again because I really enjoyed it. Um, could easily become one of my favorites, although I will probably always, always have a soft spot for Dragon Quest VIII just because it's my, like, life sucks. Let's play Dragon Quest VIII. <laughs> Everything is in turmoil, and I don't know what to do next. Let's play Dragon Quest VIII! Um, and usually by the time I've finished the post-game on Dragon Quest VIII, there's some clarity of thought returning to my brain. So, like, um, I played it for the first time in college, and then I played it again um, when I moved from my hometown to my current place. And then I played it again before I went back to college the second time. And then I played it again when I finished college the second time. And then I played it again when I started dating the person that is now my husband. And then I played it again right before we got married. Like, <laughs> I've played this game a lot uh, because I just, I really love it and it's, yeah, it's got a special spot in my heart. Something something comforting about, you know, I know the story so well and I know how it all works out for everybody and, you know. Like, for some people it's Pokemon. Like, they know Pokemon really, really well, so they just play that. And this is my Pokemon. Not that I don't also love Pokemon. I should, I should preface that by saying I do love Pokemon. I haven't kept up with the newer games of the series, but I definitely played Yellow um, way, way back in the day. Pokemon Yellow. I need to heal. Nah, I don't need to heal yet. I've never played Link's Awakening, actually. I've only played... Five or six Zelda games, I think. Um, I haven't played any of the 2D Zelda games, weirdly enough. Oh, no, that's a lie. I played Minish Cap. Minish Cap was actually the first Zelda game I personally played. I remember as a kid watching my older brother uh, shred Ocarina of Time and just being, like, absolutely fascinated by the story. And I didn't want to watch TV. I just wanted to watch... Ocarina of Time. That was my TV when that game first came out. Um, 
And it wasn't until after I had played my first JRPG, which was Tales of Symphonia, that I actually tackled um, Ocarina of Time. You know, go big or go home, right? Um, but since then, I have played or been part of a playthrough of Ocarina of Time, Minish Cap, Majora's Mask, Twilight Princess, which is my favorite, Skyward Sword, and of course, Breath of the Wild, which is a very close second. Oh, you turned off the original NES to shut off because your siblings weren't paying attention to you when you were a kid. That's adorable. Yeah, I definitely got kicked out of my brother's room a whole bunch of times as a kid because I just kept coming in because I wanted to watch him play the stories because, you know. <laughs> well, and you learned your lesson not to do that anymore, right? Because I bet they yelled at you real hard. Man, in the early days when you couldn't, like, save every five seconds. And you had to power through everything. Yeah, go save the princess, but do it in one eight-hour sitting. I'm really glad that games aren't like that anymore. Although you can give yourself those kinds of challenges in certain other games. Um, I also like strategy games. Like, I started this mostly for RPGs because I really love RPGs. Um, and it's not the kind of thing that, you know, it, I've, I mostly have played RPGs by myself, but I really want to share them with other people. And this seemed like a good way to do that, to accomplish that goal of, Introducing other people to a gameplay that they might not be interested in because these stories are really compelling. Yes, they are predictable and occasionally trite, but they are also very compelling. <laughs> okay, now I need to heal. Holy crap. Okay, we did that. When we are done here, we're going to go to Baccarat and we're going to buy a whole bunch of shit to sell and get some gold because we're going to need it. We are, we're so close to done. Oh my gosh. Get out of here, you bloody hands. Just like, go on, get. I wonder if we're high enough level to intimidate any of these enemies. No, we need the incidental EXP. So that I don't have to grind again. Because I really don't want to grind again. Not that I didn't enjoy the last grinding session that I had. Because I don't know if y'all have watched it yet. But Julie and the Phantoms on Netflix is bomb. It is so good. It's so good. I finished it last week. And I started re-watching it again two days ago. That's how good it is. And I just, I just really, really enjoyed it. I can't wait to find out if they're going to make season two. Dear God, I hope they make season two. Can't recommend it enough. I got to rewatch The Witcher, too. There's another game series I've never played. I've never played The Witcher games. What? Did I seriously walk all the way up here for no treasure chest? Wow. Don't I feel like a sucker? Okay, but that was everything here. So now we're gonna go to Baccarat. Boop, boop, boop. There's a thing going around on Facebook right now that's like, list your top 10 all-time favorite TV shows. And honestly, that is really hard for me to do. Can I list 
10 TV shows that I love to death and would rewatch a million times? Absolutely. Can I give you a definitive ranking? Absolutely not. Cannot be done. Like, I really love the IT crowd. Have rewatched that so many times because it's it's a British show and each season, aka series, is only like six episodes long. Each episode is only about thirty minutes, a little bit less than. And there's only four total seasons slash series, and then like a decade after the final series aired, they did a forty five minute quote unquote season five that was really just an extended episode um that they put on youtube that's now part of the series on netflix and you could just watch it along with the others it's fantastic Oop. no i meant to buy more of those dang it but then i also like i love parks and rec and i have rewatched that series probably like four or five times because Parks and Rec has one of those series finales that like gets it 100% right before How I Met Your Mother ended aka season nine I rewatched that series a whole bunch I've seen seasons one two three and four of that show several times just because I, I thought it was a really great show and then the ending was so terrible like it the the rest of it is like literally unwatchable now. Um and I feel like that's probably how a lot of people feel about like <laughs> Don't bother. Don't bother watching the last season of How I Met Your Mother. It was terrible. Well, it wasn't terrible. Really, it's just the last 5 minutes. Everything up to that is pretty good. Not as good as the the first 8 seasons. But that, that last five minutes of the last season, man, it's trash. It's just absolute trash. All right. I think that's enough. Gosh, I hope that's enough. Let's go sell all of these. Um, and then I just finished The Good Place. Um, and I am probably going to rewatch that because it was really good. Um, and I have, we haven't even talked, we haven't even talked about all of the wonderful animated shows. Good Place is so good. I have not watched Gilmore Girls. It's been in my to watch list for like a bajillion years. Yeah, take Take all of these prayer rings, because I don't need them. Thank you much, Lisa. All right. Did the alchemy pot bing while we were running around the Godbird's Eerie? No, it did not. No, it did not. We have to continue to wait. That's fine. It seems like it would be the kind of show that I really would enjoy. I just, I just genuinely haven't watched it yet. All right, when was the last time we talked to the princess? Let's fly there and see what the princess has to say to us. If she's got anything to say. She might not have anything to say. Medea is full. She can't drink anymore. That means she doesn't have anything to say to us. All right. That's okay. We will fly out of here. And we are ready to go to our next destination. Let's see. Actually, you know what? There's something I want to try because I don't think I've ever tried it before. Yeah, we're going to get weird. 
Come get weird with me. <laughs> Wait. I think that means something different than what I meant for that to mean. No. Yes. Can I land here? Can I land here? No, I can't land here! I thought I'd be able to land there. Yes! Yes, okay, I can land there. That's good. Okay, so we saw that weird dog fly off this direction. So, ostensibly speaking, it should be somewhere here, right? I don't think there's anything up this hill. I just, I need to check. I feel like I would know if there were something up this hill. Um, it's been a really long time since my first playthrough, and obviously after that I knew what to do, so I didn't get weird. But we're getting weird now, so like... No, there's nothing up here. Absolutely. Nothing but a weird point on the top of our heads. Okay. All right, then. Hmm? Nothing. Got... We got nothing. As Willy Wonka would say, you get nothing! You lose! Good day! I have not seen this cutscene before, y'all. <gasps> I'm so excited. You wanted to see me, Your Holiness? This place is far removed from the secular world. I understand. I will see that the Templars take charge of Your Holiness's security. But rumors... No, no bounds, Marcello. I hear your name among the whisperings. There are disturbing allegations surrounding you. And I fear they may be more than mere rumors. It is sad that these talented should always be the victims of envy, Your Holiness. Surely you don't believe these... Abbot Francisco was very dear to me, my one true friend. We were very close. I am employing you as master of my guard for a very good reason for Francisco. When you were abandoned by your parents, he raised you in the abbey as if you were his own son. The least I can do for him is to keep a close eye on you, to stop you straying any further from the fold. Marcello, you are intelligent and competent. You have clearly demonstrated that in your command of the Templars. Can you not satisfy yourself with that? If you persist with your current duplicity, I will have no choice but to discipline you. But I am not so unjust as to think it's only you. The church is riddled with corruption and bribery. I suppose I am largely to blame for being too lenient. Now, let that be the end of this discussion. Underneath this o'erleaping ambition, you have a good soul. There is still time for you to mend your ways. Y'all, not to like ruin the majesty and grandeur of this moment, but check us out peeping through the gate on the other side. <laughs> it's it's so wonderful. Just like, hey. Hey, what's going on in there? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh. Thank you, Your Holiness. May the goddess be with you always. Yo, you can see Trode! <laughs> that is wonderful. Ah, Francisco, my old friend. I 
should have known when the book of his conscience would be closed to me. Guide his straying soul. Rest, he knows it. Okay, y'all, I can't even tell you how many times I have played this game. It is a lot. I have never watched that scene before. Ever. I, I, you know, I have no idea how that happened. I didn't know this scene existed. I'm so glad we got to share that with each other. Especially the part where you could see our peeping little faces. And they're both just like, okay, well, that's, that's, I don't even see you. It's like you're not even there. All right, can I go in? I can, I can go in. Wow, that uh, security's real lax up here, hey? I really didn't think we'd be able to open that gate. I, I didn't even try in previous playthroughs. I was just like, eh, whatever. Ooh, you know what that sound means. That sound means... We got a cool item. Oh yeah, we got the sun crown. So here's the thing about the sun crown, you guys. Um, well, it is the second best helmet in the game. We are never gonna use it as a helmet. And the reason why is because it is an integral part of the best item in the game, the Timbrel of Tension. So, I don't know if I have a tough guy tattoo. Let's find out. Do I have a tough guy tattoo? I need one. Do I need to go? I might need to go shopping. We might have to go shopping. We're going to have to go shopping. Okay, so basically, we're going to take the sun crown. We are going to put it with a tough guy tattoo and a magic beast hide. And it's going to make... The Timbrel of Tension, which is, uh, what's that thing called? Oh my gosh. Tambourine! Um, it's basically a tambourine. <laughs> I know what words are, it's fine. It's basically a tambourine, and you use it as an item in battle, um, and it raises the tension level of every member of your party. Basically, it makes you the ultimate bard. Um, and there's literally no reason not to make one and to carry one because it only costs you one turn to use it as an item. And when you use it as an item, everyone gets their tension raised one level. So like when you're fighting one of those bosses that has that wave of ice ability, timbrel of tension, my bitches. Oh my God. It's amazing. Um, so yeah. We're going to make one of those. Um, there is a second sun crown in the post game. Uh, and when we pick that up, we're going to make a second timbrel of tension. Because that's who we are as people. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Uh, in the meantime, however, we did pick up this. Or Halcom at the top of uh, the Godbird's Eerie. So I just gotta, I gotta figure out what do I want to do with it? What do I want to do with it? What do I want to do with it? You know what? We're gonna, we're gonna make the shield. All right. So we're gonna take that and one of those. There we go. See, this is the recipe I was trying to do earlier that didn't work because we didn't have the magic metal. But well, we have the magic metal now. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Goodness gracious. Okay, sorry. I got really excited about this. Hey, there was a dude standing over there. Is that dude still there? Oh, that dude's gone now. Dang it. I was gonna... There was like a guy standing over here. And I was gonna talk to him, but... I guess I can't now. All right. What happens if we try to go inside? Are we going to get kicked out? Is Marcello going to yell at us? Hey, bud. 
This is the residence of His Holiness, the Lord High Priest. Okay, you are terrible at your job because you don't know that I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> is that all you have to say about? We'd give our lives to protect His Holiness. Okay, well, you didn't even challenge me upon walking in here. Oh, oh, cabinet inspection. Ooh, Sage's robe for free. Thank you. Oh, hey, that's the guy I was going to talk to. My lovely flower. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm not going to talk to him now. <gasps> Barrels, smash them. Smash the precious. Seed of life, meh, okay. I mean, I shouldn't mess seeds of life. Ah, pots! Give me your mini metals. Apparently, there's this strange village surrounded by high mountains that's almost impossible to reach. I wonder if the little birds know where it is. I'd love to go and see it if I ever had the chance. Well, you know what's weird about her saying that? That will be our next destination. High Priest Rolo is currently resting in this room. He can be rather overbearing, so it's worth watching how you speak to him. Okay. Keep that in mind. He's not even resting! So, that confounded Marcello thinks he's too good to pay his bribes now that he's the master of the guard to the Lord High Priest. He only got the position, be the position because of my personal recommendation. The ungrateful swine. When I become Lord High Priest, he'll soon see the error of his ways. Who are you? Go away! I think I captured his pomposity. Sack inspection! Nope. How about this one? Let me feel your sack. No, nope, nothing in your sacks? Wow. Get that taken care of. Okay. All right. So we looted those two rooms down there. What's up here for us to loot? Oh, hey. Actual guards doing their freaking job. <laughs> We're under Captain Marcello's orders to guard the Lord High Priest. The Lord High Priest has retired for the night. If you want to see His Holiness, you'll have to come back tomorrow. Well, I do want to see His Holiness, um, because I don't think I've ever spoken to His Holiness before in previous playthroughs. I think this is really interesting because I swear, the last time I played this, I tried to come in that back gate and I couldn't before certain other events have taken place. So I'm, like, super weirded out by it now. But, like... Hey, yo. What up? Hanging out on your island. Just killing time until it's daytime again. Who's this dude? What's, uh... What's going on here? Hmm. Haven't seen you before. New recruits, are you? Well, you're not needed at present. Dismissed! Thank you. Can I... Is this an option? No, this is not an option. Darn it, I want to go in the tube! It looks awesome. Okay, fine. Wow, that is picturesque as fuck. Holy crap. Except for the part where the building sort of looks like it's caving in on itself. Weird. All right. Is there a moon somewhere in the sky that we could be watching to see? There it is. Okay, time is in fact passing. Just very, very, very slowly. All right. Get at it, bud. Is this a place we can zoom now that we've been here? Sure isn't. That would have made my life too easy. Hmm. 
Mm. I just want to talk to the Lord High Priest. Make it daytime! This is this is taking forever. Oh my gosh. I guess I guess we can go back to talking about TV shows. Um yeah, I really like cartoons. I'm a fan. Steven Universe is one of my all-time favorites, uh, but I think the best cartoon ever made is Avatar The Last Airbender. Um, I have yet to finish Legend of Korra. I have seen seasons one and two twice each, but I haven't watched seasons three and four. It's, it's on my list. I'll get to it. Um, I really enjoyed Gravity Falls. Uh, there, the joke in my house is that I am Mabel and Mabel is me because I too would have chosen a grappling hook. It's fine. You know, grappling hook. All right. Y'all are seeing the moon just like full on peace out on us, right? Like it was there. And now it's not there. Is that because the sun is coming up or because the game is trolling me? Come on, sun. Come on, sunshine. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. This house just ain't no home. Every time she goes away. Come on. Make it daytime. I need daytime. I need that weird dude over here in the garden so I could chat with him. Yes! Got it. All right, we can go talk to this weird dude now. Talk to me, bruh. Talk to me. Oi! I'm the gardener here. Don't you go stomping all over my lovely flowers. I'll stomp where I want to stomp. Okay, no, I don't want to stomp on the flowers because I'm not that kind of person. You can't tell me what to... Uh, I will be respectful of your wishes. Thank you, sir. All right. Will they let me talk to the Lord High Priest now? They're not even standing here now. We can just talk to this guy? Holy crap. Ah. The goddess moves in mysterious ways. I sense there is something special about you. <laughs> Sorry, did I surprise you? Take no notice. It's just the nonsensical musings of an old man. May the goddess be with you on your travels. No, sir, I don't think you understand. There's a dog coming to murder you. You don't... He doesn't seem fussed. Where is Marcello? I need to discuss with him about the large dog that is definitely coming to murder you. Um, because I don't want you to die because you seem like a decent person. And we need more decent persons in this world and all other worlds. Cabinet inspection! No. Op open the cabinet. There we go. Yes! I knew there was a mini metal in there. I could just feel it, you know? You know how you just get a sense for shit? I knew it had a mini metal in it. What else could it have had? Nothing. Only mini metals. Okay. We are done here then. Because no one's taking me seriously about the big black dog that's definitely going to try to murder the Lord High Priest. So I guess we'll have to come up with some other method of finding the big black dog. Because they're not going to just let me hang out here forever, right? What if I just like... Built a cave or something. Okay, well, that's probably not going to work. You know where there is weirdly no dots and is also a place we've never been to? If you look on that southeastern continent, there's Pickham and the Monster Arena, and those are the two blue dots on the east side. And then there's a red dot right in the middle. That's the Swordsman's Labyrinth. But if you look straight north from the Swordsman's Labyrinth, you'll see a kind of island-looking thing 
that's surrounded by high cliffs that we couldn't get to without being able to fly. And you know what we can do now? We can fucking fly, y'all. So here's my Ella Abby. Oop. Hey. There's like a town there. Let's go check it out. She says like she didn't know that this was here. Do, do, do. I think there are. There's a cow. There's a cow. I need to talk to the cow. Quick, quick cow blocking me, man. I just want my milk. It's fine. It's fine. We're gonna multi shot. I haven't multi shot it in a while. That came out weird. Oh. Well, it's a shame he got serious right before we killed him. I want to talk to this cow, because cows are my friend. Quit running away, cow! Come back! I have to milk you! Wait, what? We got that bottle of milk from that cow as it was actively, like, fleeing us. That is amusing. It's fine. Everything is fine. This is normal. We're just fighting some thorns that have clearly been inhabited by the spirit of a dragon. It's fine. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's a treasure chest over here. Nope, not that way. This way. Oh, sugar snack peas. A buffalo ogre. Those are, you know, that's a word. That's definitely a word. Okay. Fascinating. All right, and continuing on. We gotta get down there. Which, I mean, I guess I was going the right way originally. Surely, surely we can get down there, right? <laughs> right? It's fine. I'm sure we can get down there. Man, and this is why I like being ridiculously overleveled for things, is that, like, regular encounters are no longer any kind of a threat to us. It's just like, oh, sorry, were you trying to murder me? Fine, whatever. Hello there, Cyclops. Um, they call me nobody. 
in case anybody ever asks. My name is Nobody. Uh-oh. Okay, she lived. It's fine. Rude! Actually, wait. We'll just multi-heal. That's fine. We can all use a little... HP. Well, that's not a terrifying noise that it made as it died. Okay, did I go the wrong way? Because I'll be real mad if I went the wrong way. We need to heal. Yeah, Jessica should probably get healed. There we go. Now, according to my research, there should be... Oh, really? It's up there, isn't it? It's freaking up there, isn't it? It's supposed to be a treasure chest here, and I bet you anything, it's up there. Well, crud! Okay, fine. Go. There's another treasure chest we have to go get because it's got a mini metal in it. And if... Well, one of these two treasure chests has a mini metal in it. And I don't know which one's which. I wonder if we're intimidating. Should we, should we find out? Let's find out. Alright, we are. We are intimidating. Cool. Uh, I am going to cast some magic um, only because we still have some stuff to do but we're running out of time to do it in so I would like less fighting let's see if we can get uh, the golems to do a cool thing yep here we go now you can see what this looks like They are now the monstrous mazen. Right. They did 900 some damage just by themselves because you know they're good like that there we go we got him gold monster coin baby yeah, we're going to add him to the team. Because, you know me, I'm all about those dudes that just, like, lay waste to face. And he lays waste to face. Hey, cow. You are much calmer than that other cow was. That other cow, like, ran from me like I had some kind of 
growth. I don't have any growths. I'm just a human man. We can argue about how old I am and whether or not that makes me a man or a boy, but you know, we're all just trying to trying to make our way in the world. Me, I'm just just trying to find the mini metals. <laughs> Give me your mini metals. Give it me. I think there's supposed to be another infamous monster back here somewhere. I don't know where it is, though. Or if we'll encounter it as well. Alright, come on. Good lord. This is I forgot how long this walk is. It's a long walk. But worth it for the single treasure chest that is hiding back here. Oh, there he is. We're going to holy protect again. We're going to heal again. We're going to open this treasure chest. All right. If this has a mini metal in it, I'm not worried about that other chest. Yay! Do you want to fight, bruh? Let's fight. Let's fight! Holy crap. That was a lot of damage on that one move, y'all. Did you see? 823. I just love the, like, cinematic delayed damage report. <laughs> it just makes me real happy. Silver monster coin. Okay. Sure, you can join the team. Uh, oh my goodness. Who is the weakest link? Oh, it's Hazel. Oh, okay. No one tell Capybara that we let the, the yeah switch go. Ah! Wow, maybe it wasn't meant to be after all. There we go. I got it. It's fine. Okay. Back we go. Long walk. Okay. If I can figure out how to get to that treasure chest, we will open it. It's It's got cheese in it. Um, And cheese isn't a bad thing to have, you know. It's not as great as, like, the Timberl of Tension or the Metal King Shield. But it's, you know, it's we like cheese. I like cheese. I probably eat too much cheese because, you know, I put cheese on pretty much everything. But, I, you know, I'm from the Midwest. I'm allowed to put cheese on things. Those are one of the unspoken rules of the Midwest. We like cheese. And ranch dressing. Oh, speak of which. You know what I forgot to go get? I forgot to go get the thing we were missing to make the Timberl of Tension. I'm really mad. I'm mad that I forgot to do that. Dang it. Dang it! Dang it! Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We will just go ahead and make that cheese we were talking about making before. Because even though you can get the Timberl of Tension, and it is, it, hands down, best fucking item in the game. Even though we can get that, it still doesn't hurt to also have highly strong cheese or any other kind of cheese. Uh, even if all you're going to do with it is sell it. Like, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. It's not bad. Not for long. 
We got things to do, and I do not need to be fighting monsters right now. We are sufficiently leveled. We will fight more monsters later. Right now, we have a destination to get to. And I need the monsters to just F off. Step off! Oh man, I forgot about regular show. Regular show's good. And I really did enjoy Adventure Time after I got over how absolutely insane it is and the fact that it makes no freaking sense until the later seasons. Um, because it doesn't make any fr- There's that stupid tri- <gasps> Kitty! Y'all. Y'all. <laughs> There's that treasure chest I was looking for before. It was up here the whole time. Open. Thank you. Hey, we found some super spicy cheese. That's good. And we already have cold cheese, so we can and some rock salt, so we can make more. What do you call it? Calm down, bud. Calm down, Cal. I already talked to you. I don't need to talk to you again. It's all good in the cow hood. Here we go. We finally made it. Of course, the holy protection effect wears off, but that's okay. We are officially. In our destination, so I don't need to worry about it now. You, human, are you? This is try and dummy. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Hi, I think a monster just spooked to me. Cool, fly. No. I'm fed up with saying that old woman now. <laughs> um, you there. Uh, you're a monster. Uh, but you don't fight or run away. What business do you have being so welcoming? Explain yourself. Here in Triton Gully, humans and elves and... Monsters all live happily together. So, why would I run away when I see a human? <laughs> I... I... Well, I never. I had no idea such a place existed. Of course, you know what this means. I can wander about without causing a stir. It's a veritable paradise. Well, what are we waiting for? Come on, follow me. All right, welcome to the only place in the game you get to run around as King M. Effing Trode. <laughs> but this is the reason that we went and we got all of those gold coins, because this is a town. When I was little, I nearly fell down to the bottom of the gully. I did, it's true! But my friend swooped down and saved me. He caught me as I was falling. He's a dracky, you know. You're a monster, too. Monsters are cool. Oh, yeah, he Naruto runs. I forgot. I guess it's not a true Naruto run because his arms are out to the sides and not, like, behind him. Still cool, though. Ooh, you're a fine-looking specimen, aren't you? How about a kiss? Slow down, I was only joking. Ugh, men are all the same. I mean, you propositioned me, lady. Rapthorn is the lord of darkness, ruler of the world of darkness. But for all his might, he could not control his lust for power. He came here to the world of light, thinking he could reign over that too. But he was stopped by the seven great sages. They sealed him away in a huge rock somewhere in our world. Huge rock, you say? What's this? A new face! Now that you've come all this way, it simply wouldn't do to miss out on Triangully's most famous drink. 
It's called a dry gigantini. Would you like to try one? It costs a mere nine gold coins. I mean, yeah, sure. Thank you. One dry gigantini coming up. I'll bring it over to you right away. This is a dry gigantini. Agitated, not distressed. Why don't you give it a try, sir? What if I am both agitated and distressed? What then? <laughs> you read me like a book, my good man. This is just what I was looking for. Oh, goodness. Well, well, well. I am impressed. This is delicious. Thank you, sir. You flatter me. Perhaps while you enjoy your drink, I could entertain you with a tale of triangle -y? As you wish, my good man. This drink is more than enough entertainment for me. <laughs> you are too kind, but please, allow me to begin. <clears throat> it all started long ago, many hundreds of years past. The great sage Kupas was out walking one day when he found an elf and a gigant lying injured in the road. Hating to see any creature suffer, he tended to their wounds and he saved their lives. Amazed that a human should show them such kindness, they pledged their allegiance to Kupas. And from that day forth, the three of them were inseparable. But the lifespan of humans, elves, and monsters is very different. After many years, Kupas passed on into the great beyond. Determined to honor his dying wish, the elf and the gigant established a settlement here in the gully. And ever since then, humans, elves, and monsters have lived here side by side in peace, never forgetting Kupas's wish that no one should ever be allowed to forget how Rapthorn had terrorized the world. So, that's why the inhabitants of this valley are always sure to tell travelers about the terror of the Lord of Darkness. Well, well, that's quite a tale. Very interesting, I'm sure. This drink is absolutely fascinating. Hmm. Well, that was delicious. It was worth venturing this far into the forest just for that alone. Thank you for your custom, sir. I wish you a pleasant journey. All right, time to smash some stuff. Oh yeah, I forgot. He picks up barrels weird. Just like get wrecked barrel. Ooh, slime crown. Uh, this is the bank, which we might make use of after we've spent all of our money. Yes, hello, I need to do some shopping. Hmm Nope. I came here for this. 28,000 gold coins. It's fine. It's very, very expensive. Yep. Nope. That's the only item I needed for right now. Talk to this dude. Okay. So. I feel like I need one of these. I need one of those. Maybe. Hold, please. Old, old. As I recall, what we actually want. Okay. So I. I want one of these. 
put that in the bag. I want one of these. Okay, and then I want two of those. I don't think I need this armor. I'm about 90% certain that this armor is basically useless to me at this point because I have four liquid metal armors and there's only three things that are better than the liquid metal armor and these are not any of those three things. So not super worried about it. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Nope. See, we didn't even spend all of our money, just a large portion of our money. What do you have? A flowing dress, eh? Fascinating. And look, here you can just straight up buy magic waters and rock bomb shards. Not that I need those items at the moment, but you know what? We are going to buy a couple of magic waters just because I like having them around. There we go. All right. So, with that in mind, we have some uh, recipes that we need to sort by type. Please and thank you. Okay, so we have some recipes that we can complete now. Um, we are going to start by making a gold tiara for Jessica to wear. And that is the silver tiara, the thinking cap, and one of our gold nuggets. So, I'm pretty sure I heard the alchemy pot ding while we were running back to try and gully. We sure did. Oh, yeah. So, we got the thinking cap, the silver tiara, and then one of our gold nuggets. We have three. There's plenty of them. Yes, please. All right, we're just gonna let that cook. And then we also we also have other things to make and I will probably make those off screen because I want them before the next major battle that we have to fight. Um, so I'll just tell you now what I'm gonna be making. I'm gonna be combining uh, the great bow, the Eros bow and the Sharon's bow that Angelo currently has equipped together to make Odin's bow. And then we're going to take these mirror shields that we just got and throw them in a pot with a white shield and um, I think it's holy water. I want to say, I want to say it's holy water. It is, it's holy water to make a saintess shield. Um, and Jessica's the only one that can equip it, um, but it's okay because we're going to make two because the saintess shield is also an ingredient in the silver shield, which is a shield that all four, all three of the boys can hold. So we'll eventually have, we'll re replace the saintess shield eventually, but it'll be good enough for now. And then we're going to, so we're going to make a saintess shield. We're going to turn around and make a silver shield, which is a mirror shield. Um, No, wait, what? Oh, no, the second mirror shield is actually to make the silver shield. So we're going to make one saintess shield and one silver shield. Well, I confused myself. It's fine. Um, And then let's see, what else can we make? Oh, yeah, we're going to make that timbrel of tension, which is the sun crowned, the tough guy tattoo, and the magic beast hide. So I'm probably going to finish all of those things off screen because, like, we don't we don't need that right now. Um, I'm literally going to warp to the top of the monster arena and just run in circles until things are finished cooking. But let's finish um, what we're doing here in Triangully. 
So this is the church. And I promise we're going to save there. So I don't need to go there just yet. We do need to go this way, though. Let's go talk to this Draki. Oh, there's a bunnycorn. Poor Raya cried her eyes out when she heard David was dead. He was an heir to the great sage Koopas, you know. But we'll never see him again. It's so sad. I thought this was a literal tree. Qua, A new face! And an old-looking one to boot! Okay, alright. If the Lord of Darkness manages to escape his seal, every living thing on Earth will either be destroyed or turned into shadow. Humans, monsters, and elves. We cannot allow Rapthorn to return. We must all work together now, not fight each other. Well, I agree. Although, I'm gonna be real honest, until we got here, didn't know elves were a thing. I am an elf. My name is Rhea. You know, there used to be a young man called David who lived here in the valley. But he went off on his travels, never to return. He was murdered, you see. Murdered before he could learn the truth about his ancestry, that he was the heir to a great sage. I tell you this only because... Well, it's very strange, but I can sense David's presence within you. Did you perhaps encounter each other somewhere along your journey? I don't know how to tell you this, miss. You were at David's side during his final moments? Then surely it cannot be a coincidence that you're here now. You witnessed the dying moments of the heir to a great sage, and now you're visiting his home here in Triangeli. It must mean something. I'm afraid I must ask you a favor. I have no one else to turn to now. Rapthorn, the Lord of Darkness, is close to reawakening, but he can still be stopped, and you are the ones who must stop him. If he returns, our world will be enveloped by darkness in the blink of an eye. For hundreds of years we have cherished but one dream, that Rapthorn never be allowed to resume his reign of terror. Will you turn our dream into a reality? Please, say you will try. Yeah, we'll try. It is the guidance of Koopas that has brought you here. Wow, I had that voice really wrong. The only way to stop the revival of the Lord of Darkness, Rapthorn, is to seal away the scepter that contains him once more. Please, let us do what little we can to assist you. Drang, would you come here? Oh, right away! I want these people to have Koopas's great treasure. Would you go and let the guard know? Oh, right away! As you just heard, I wish to give you something from our gully's treasure chamber. It's called the Dark Tree Leaf, and it belonged to Koopas. It's the leaf from a giant tree that exists in the world of darkness. People say that if you place it on a map, it will instantly show you the location of a great evil. The fate of the world is in your hands. We're all depending on you. We will await news of your success here in the gully. Hmm. The youngest of the seven sages was, was Aegeus, the holy child. A prophet at just six years old, he first sensed the threat of the Lord of Darkness. Another was Regnar, who returned from the afterlife. He knew the goddess better than any other, and it was he who named the godbird Empyria. Then there was Caden, the great scholar. His wisdom was second to none, and it was said that he knew all there was to know in this wide world. Another was Golding, the warrior. His might was without equal, and friend and foes alike claimed that fortune rode with him into battle. Then there was Alexander, the magical swordsman. His prodigious skills extended far beyond the battlefield, as he was also a talented sculptor. 
Another was Master Gozo, the sorcerer. To him, ancient tomes of magic unclasped their secrets, granting the use of their most potent spells. And finally, there was I, Koopas the magician. Together, we used our lives as the key to lock the Lord of Darkness's soul inside the scepter. As long as our descendants live on, Rapthorn's body and soul can never escape from their prisons. The Lord of Darkness's body is sealed within a large rock in the center of the world. I have been told that Alexander turned the rock into a statue to prevent unwary men from interfering with it. Gee, that sounds familiar. Isle of Neos, anybody? Awkward. All right. So, to the treasure chamber. Where's the treasure chamber? I think we gotta go down. Down and out. I've heard all about you. You're our last hope. Take whatever you need from in here. Well, what I need are mini metals. Give me your mini metals. Yeah, that's what I want. Right. The dark tree leaf. So the dark tree leaf is a necessary item because if you'll notice in all of our flying around, we never encountered Sir Leopold, Rapthorn, whatever we're calling him. Um, and that's what we need to do. So the dark tree leaf is going to enable us. To see where um, Sir Leopold Rapthorn is. So you can see where the leaf is. That's where he's hanging out. So anytime that we're ready to follow him, chase him down, yada, yada, yada. All we got to do is open the map. Dark Tree Leaf is going to point to exactly where he is. We fly after him, essentially. Um, however, before we do that which we're going to do on Saturday. I need to get over to if it will let me. We need whoop. Crap. Okay, well at least we didn't hit our heads. I didn't want to go to Neos. I wanted to go. I wanted to go to Princess Minnie's castle. Hang on. There we go. Cuz I'm pretty sure we have enough mini medals now. Um, to get the next reward. And I want the reward. I want it. A hundred and one! Yes! We got the dangerous bustier! Yes! All right. So, I'm just gonna, we're just, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. So, this is another item that changes Jessica's outfit. Ta da! <laughs> so. Uh, one problem with it. Oh, I forgot about the boob physics in this item. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's a whole thing. 
Okay. So one problem with it, uh, it has literally no defense. Literally, it does nothing but change her outfit. Which I don't know about you, but that's she needs that she needs those one hundred defense points. So yeah, she's not gonna wear that. However, I did want to pick that up because um, it is an ingredient in her best armor, which also will change what she looks like, but will actually do something beneficial for her. So now you know that's what it looks like. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and head back to Triangulli to save. Um, and then we're going to end the stream there. Honestly, the the dangerous bustier is really the only reason I collect min, mini metals to begin with. Um, not for it, but for the alchemy creation that you need it for. The flail of destruction is nice, but like I don't. I don't know. It's not worth stressing yourself over. You need 110 of the 115 mini medals in the game. So this is the church here in Triangulli. And as with everything else in Triangulli, it's just a little weird. It's just a little weird, bud. Do you have any idea what time it is? What brings you to my church at this insane hour of the night? Out with it then! Confess thy deeds before the great imp. Eep! I mean, benevolent goddess. That way I can record your deeds in an adventure log. Okay? All right, so that is going to end the stream for today. Uh, before we rejoin on Saturday, I'm going to finish all of the alchemy recipes that I was telling you about um, because I want them before we do the next story thing, and it's literally just going to be me running in circles to complete the alchemy recipes and it's not that interesting. So I will take care of that, and then on Saturday we are going to pick up with the dark tree leaf and chasing down Leopold. And it will be very interesting and I'm very excited. So thank you all so much for joining me for this stream. Again, my apologies for the delay. Traffic sucks. But I'm not working on Saturday. So Saturday we are starting right on time at 2 o'clock. Uh, that is Eastern time. In the meantime, if you are behind, please check out the YouTube channel. It will have every stream up to this one. Should be by Friday at the absolute latest. But my hope is to get them all uploaded this evening. So thank you everyone for joining us. Have a lovely evening. I will see you on Saturday.